This is amazing. What if you have a chat GPT like interface like this and able to use any open source large language model locally in your computer and all your data will remain private. Not only that, you can use Olama, the popular tool to run large language model locally. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about Olama Web UI. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to set this up on your local computer. And also it's completely open source. But before going into that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. Coming to Olama Web UI, it gives us the ability to run any open source large language model locally on your computer, completely private. The first step to set up your Olama Web UI is using Docker. So you might need to download Docker from the Docker website. They have Mac version, Windows version and Linux version. Download and install it. The Docker application will look like this. Next, git clone Olama Web UI like this and click enter. Next, navigate to Olama Web UI folder. After that, docker compose up hyphen d hyphen hyphen build and click enter. That's it. This will automatically install the Olama and also Olama Web UI. You can modify the compose.yaml file for GPU support and for exposing Olama API outside the container stack if needed. Now you can navigate to this URL to check if Olama is running. I'm going to click that and I can see Olama is running. That means Olama is working. You can see that all the installation step got completed. Now you can visit localhost 3000 to open the UI. Here is the web UI. You have few options here. The first one is having a new chat. Then you can select a model. You can even install multiple model and then use that. And then you've got the settings tab. I'm going to click the settings. In the settings, if you have already installed Olama before, using any of this installation from olama.ai website, then you can link this UI to that Olama. I've already covered on how to install Olama using Olama software in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. So now we are going to integrate this software and also your web UI. To do that, you enter localhost colon 11434 slash API. This will automatically link back to your existing Olama. If you haven't installed Olama before, still it will work because our Docker Compose installation command will install Olama and also Olama Web UI. So in this screen, you can see the system prompt. You can enter system prompt here. Then going into the advanced tab, you have seed, temperature, you have various other things which you can modify. Then going into the models tab, you can choose what model you want and type and you should be able to download that directly here. Next, you've got add-ons. You can even use OpenAI API key and use all the OpenAI models in this interface. Then finally, you've got the authentication. If you want to implement any basic authentication or any other authentication, you can try this out. Now we're going to test this. You can either install your large language model from the command line like this, Olama run Mistral, or you can directly download from the user interface. Now currently I have seven models which I've already installed. You can also see that same list of models in your web UI. This shows that your previously installed Olama model is linked to the user interface. I'm going to choose Mistral 7 billion parameter model. I'm going to click uh, show me a code script. Here it's running and you can see the speed performance. It's very quick and it looks like ChatGPT interface. Here you can ask it to recreate it. You can stop in the middle. You can even speak to the model directly. Other features are exporting your current chat. So I'm going to exporting the chat now. I'm going to delete this chat. And if I want to import it back, I can click import and open it and it automatically comes on the left hand side. The main advantage of this is it is completely private. You can use it without internet. Not only that, you can use multiple model at the same time. Now I can use code llama here. Show me a code snippet. Here's giving me a code snippet. I'm going to create another chat with Orca mini model. Show me a code snippet and it's creating. So now I can compare three different models from the same one interface, which you can see on the left hand side. I'm going to add my OpenAI API key here and then click save. Now when you click the new chat, you should be able to see all the GPT-4, GPT-3.5, GPT Vision and all of the chat GPT models as well. And you can even directly talk to those. That's it, as simple as that. Now you can run any large language open source model locally on your computer 
and also it's completely private to use. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this. Stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.